1967, President Johnson's Commission on Law Enforcement wrote, modern technology can make many specific contributions to criminal administration. The most significant will come from the use of computers to collect and analyze the masses of data the system needs to understand the crime control process. Has this 1967 prediction for big data innovation in policing happened? Well, a farmer in the year 2000 produced 12 times as much output per hour as a farmer in 1950. The life expectancy of a 20-year-old HIV-positive patient gained 10 years between 1996 and 2010. The price per watt from solar panels declined from over $100 in 1976 to less than $3 today. But today, police solve about 45% of violent crimes, a number that has not budged at all in 50 years. Black Americans with a 43% higher rate of violent victimization than white Americans disproportionately bear the cost of our lack of police innovation. Are we serious about simultaneously addressing an urgent public safety challenge and a persistent racial disparity? Then let's use data science to innovate in policing. Data are there for the taking. Police have data on crime, calls for help, accidents, complaints, use of force. My research with Penn colleagues showed that pushing data to, to Philadelphia officers newly equipped with smartphones improved contact with citizens, increased officers' awareness of community concerns, and resulted in more solved crimes. Data science can also be turned inward to monitor police performance through early warning systems and AI-assisted reviews of body cam footage. I've developed data science methods now used locally in hundreds of U.S. cities to detect racial bias in policing, and I'm currently using data science to identify officers with a high propensity to escalate to serious force. Penn students, in my hands-on data science class, learn how to access these data to answer the crime and justice questions that matter to them most. So data science has worked miracles in agriculture, healthcare, and energy. It's time for data science to transform policing to make that 1967 prediction come true.